Let's talk about movies. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today we are talking about movies. I'm going to rank my top 10 favorite Stephen King movies. I'm going to try and do it in under 10 minutes. Um, so I've got, these are my 10 favorites. They're my personal opinion. Some of you guys are wondering where some things are. The parameters I pretty much had were it could not be a mini series. So you will not be seeing The Stand, It from the 90s, which is a bummer because that would be on here. Um, Storm of the Century, which is another one that would have been on here. And so on and so forth. It cannot be a miniseries. It's got to be a feature film. So, yeah. Those are basically the only parameters I've got. Um, I've got 10 of them here. I'm going to try and do it in under 10 minutes. Basically less than a minute a bo uh, book, uh, a movie. So, um, don't forget to check out the stuff down below. Pango Books, podcast, Instagrams, Danielle's channel, all that stuff. Yikes. Let's get into it. All right, let's get this thing started. In 10th place, I have got Stand By Me. So this is a movie based off of the short story, uh, The Body, uh, which is in different seasons, uh, which is one of my favorite short stories that he has written. It's not a horror movie by any means. It's a coming of age story and it's really good. If you have not seen Stand By Me, I definitely would recommend it. Um, but for me, it's in 10th place because I got nine other ones that I think are better. Um, but it's a really good story. Four friends go try and find a dead body, and all this hijinks and stuff goes through. So, there you have it. In 10th place, Stand By Me. Alright, in ninth place, I have got Misery. I do not have a DVD of this, and I really thought I did, but I guess I don't. So, I just reread this book. Phenomenal book. The movie, Kathy Bates, is a perfect Annie Wilkes. Like, it is, it's creepy how good of an actress she is in this portrayal of a character um if you know what it says author gets like gets in a car accident psychotic number one fan pretty much held, holds him captive things do not go well uh misery ninth place all right in eighth place another accident the dead zone so this is about uh, i want to say his name is johnny smith and he gets in a car accident i think he was a school teacher and what ends up happening is basically he gets in this accident and he gets this uh, ability to where if he touches you, um, he can basically see the future, like involving you. Um, the main concept for this, I mean, it, he goes along and does all these different things and everything like that. But the main thing he's trying to do is he's trying to stop, um, I want to say it's a, uh, it's a somebody who's going to be running for president. and It's like a political story. The book was really good too. Christopher Walken's in this. It's a very good story. Um, and a very good film. One of my favorites. There you have The Dead Zone in 7th place. In 6th, we... Yeah, that's 7. 10, oh, that's 8. Never mind. Alright, I'm losing track here. In 7th place, I have Christine. So, the book I think is highly underrated. The movie I also think is highly underrated. It is a very good film. Um, also, The Car. Christine, 58 Plymouth Fury. God, it is beautiful. I want one so bad. Um, haunted Car, ruins friendships, ruins relationships. It's it's a really good book and a really phenomenal film. Um, I actually think, who was this? This was John Carpenter's. This is the guy who did The Thing and I think uh, the original Halloween. So it's a really good book. And there's great music in this. So there you have, now in seventh place, Christine. Okay, in sixth place, this is going to be a shock to probably everybody. Secret Window. I think this is a highly underrated Stephen King book. This is, or well, movie. This is Secret Window, Secret Garden. Where this is different than the book, the ending is completely different. Um, I love this movie. I watch this all the time. It is such a good film. Johnny Depp, I think, does a really good job. Um... This basically got me hooked on Doritos and Mountain Dew when I was younger because that's like his beverage and like chip of choice. So it's a very good book and it's also a very good movie. I thought it was phenomenal. So in sixth place, Secret Window. All right, we're in top five territory. I have no idea where I'm at time-wise, but I'm just going to keep trucking along here. Danielle's going to keep it a secret from me, so that's exciting. Pet Cemetery, the original one. The new one sucks wiener. 
This one is a very eerie movie. It's creepy. It's got jump scares. It's just a pure horrific, like, it's just horror in a movie. It's so good. The story, the book itself is also really good. Um, gave it five stars. It's my third all-time favorite Stephen King book. Top ten list coming soon. Um, but this is a very solid movie as well. I really enjoyed it. The acting isn't the best, but it's definitely a hell of a lot better than the 2019 one. So, fifth place, Pet Cemetery. All right, in fourth place, this is going to forever have a spot in my heart, mainly because of the impact it had with me. The Mist is a very good movie. Uh, the reason why I've got such a connection with this is it's because I showed this to my grandmother, who is no longer with us, and it's just an impactful movie for me because, like, it's one of the clinging memories I have with her, and it was a very good movie, and it was a fun experience to watch with her. Um, I will always remember her reaction to the ending of this movie, if you know, you know, and I just thought it was fantastic. Um... Stephen King himself, I think, actually said if he had thought about the ending for in the movie for his book, he would have done it. I believe that's accurate. But still, phenomenal ending, big plot twist. So, fourth place, The Mist. All right, we're actually going to have three Frank Darabont, Darabont director movies in a row. Because in third place, I have The Shawshank Redemption. This is a very good movie. It is a prison movie. Um, who is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. why can't I think of his name? I'm losing time, I'm losing time. Um, shoot, I can't think of his name. Morgan Freeman? No, not Morgan Freeman. I'm trying, I, well, I know the actor's names. I'm trying to think of the character's names. Uh, Dufresne, Andy Dufresne. Oh my God, I probably just lost 30 seconds. Andy Dufresne is wrongfully accused of murdering his wife and her lover, gets sent to Shawshank Prison, and a lot of cool things happen in the time frame in which he is there. And a lot of cool things happen in the movie. A lot of cool things happen in the story, which is Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. That is the name of the short story that is in the also same book as Stand By Me. Different seasons. I'm talking fast. I'm sorry. I have no idea what time I'm at. I'm really trying to get in another 10 minutes. Because I know these last two I'm probably going to talk about a lot. So there you have the Shawshank Redemption in at number three. Oh, my God. Okay. My second all-time favorite Stephen King movie, The Green Mile. This is like a four hour long movie. It is phenomenal. I cried at the, at the end of this movie. But this is a very good movie. It's long, but it's good. Also the same director as The Mist and The Shawshank Redemption. Like Frank Darabont, I cannot say his damn name. Knows how to turn a Stephen King story into a good masterpiece on film. Do not at me. This is a very good movie. So is The Shawshank Redemption and so is The Mist. But this is just so good. If you don't know, oh my god. I don't even know if I'm going to have time to say this. This is about another guy who gets wrongfully accused of doing a murder to two little girls. He's a really big black man, and he has superpowers. It's a really cool ability. He can bring stuff back to life. He gets sent to prison and the Green Mile, which is what they use as a ter like a token to go down and like to the electric chair. They call it the Green Mile. It's a faded like floor, and it's green. That's why they call it the Green Mile. Whatever. Very good movie. Great acting. Tom Hanks, awesome. Closest to the book. Close, honestly, it's the closest adaptation that I've ever read It's or, and seen. It's really, really good. No idea what time I'm at. You guys know what's coming. All-time favorite Stephen King movie ever, The Shining. I feel like I can just stop talking at this point. This movie is so good. I can already hear people saying, it's not like the book. I don't care. It's a, I'm, can, I, it, I don't care. It's a great film. I think it's a lot better than true Stephen King th fans like care to argue with. I actually like, I want to do a video where I talk about the differences and everything like that, but I really just don't, I actually just don't have the energy for that because it's going to be way too long. Really cool looking cover. I think it's like the whatever edition, whatever. It's a Blu-ray. I'm out of breath. It's a very good movie. It's a very good book. I absolutely loved it. The Shining, my number one all-time favorite Stephen King movie. Okay, I have no idea what time I'm at. I, I'm not. I'm not holding those up. Don't push them by me. Okay, I am out of breath. I am exhausted. I have no idea if I made it in under ten minutes. Not a clue. Those are my top ten Stephen King movies of all time. Let me know your favorites down below. If you're wondering where certain ones are, I just don't have them on here. Whatever. Let me know in the comments what yours are. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow's episode of Zocktober later. Mm.